Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Now let's go back in history to this day in 2009. His name, of course, Usain Bolt. And on this day, he broke yet another world record, running 100 meters in 9.58 seconds. Fantastic. Yes, I, I need you to understand <laughs> how, you know, you can how run. How fast you must have been nine running. Nine seconds 58. That is out of this world. Um, but he broke the record on this day uh, in uh, Beijing, at the Beijing Olympics, actually. And if you remember also a year earlier, uh, he had also run 9.69 in uh, Berlin. That's actually, this happened in Berlin. But he had done Beijing in the Beijing Olympics in 9.69. The Berlin was at the Athletics uh, World Championships. And, of course, he beat us in 9.58 seconds on this day. Um, it was also the era where we saw some of the world's fastest men on the track. The last Olympics didn't get to see as much of that, you know, glitz and mm -hmm. speed as we had seen during Usain Bolt's time. You know, there was also a couple of people, the Tyson Gaze, the Asafa Powells, and uh, Johan Blake, and some of all those, you know, the you know the Jamaican and American um, athletes that had done record times back to back. Um, but it was on this day that Usain Bolt did the unthinkable and ran 100 meters in 9.58 seconds. Sadly, of course, in 2017, he wasn't able to pull that off again. And, you know, I, I think in there, really, he had um, a hamstring injury. Or, you know, he, he pulled out of the race at, uh, you know, at the last lap. Hmm. But, you know, this is, you know, one of the things that, you know, had completely blown the minds of every single person who was watching the Athletics Championships then or, and, of course, the Olympics in um, Beijing a year earlier. Completely out of this world, um, 9.58 seconds. I'm actually stunned, to be honest, thinking back at this time in 2009. Mm. Usain was just 22 years old then when he, when he accomplished his feat. Jamaican yeah. Little Usain rough, Bolt. you know, with his, you know, dirty scattered hair, you know. Looking How like... do you break your own world record with about 11th of a second, about 9.58 seconds? And you know, one of the wildest things with um, these um, world records, and uh -huh. even with the 4 by 100 meters, was... You can almost sense at the end of the race that he's slowing down. You know, the last, you know, like three, four, five steps. Mm -hmm. um, it feels, you can, maybe it's in my mind, but it feels like he's even slowing down. You know, and you can then imagine what if he kept up that pace right speed. from the start, exactly on full speed till the end of the race and till he crossed the line. It probably would have been 9.56 or 9.57, you know, something like that. Um, since then, nobody has been able to pull this off, you know, and uh, the world has continued to set for anybody who will be mm -hmm. able to do a 9.58 or do anything close to it, um, you know, in, in athletics. Wow. Still not being able to find. Amazing, amazing stuff. Okay, so um, I'm going back to the year 2018 to tell you about a story that um, we've, we've heard too often. I mean, it's even happening right now in some parts of the world, and that's wildfires. Yeah. And on this day in history, about 380,000 hectares of land in the western province of um, British Columbia in Canada you know, was ravaged by wildfires. But what happened today in history was that the Canadian government actually um, declared a state of emergency to say that, you know, for the next 14 days, let's all be careful, let's all watch, because the way the wildfires were blazing at that time, it was so, so bad. A year before then, it was a similar experience. Wildfires as well that really threatened the livelihoods of people, threatened people's safety. Um, about 18,000 residents were warned that they might have to actually flee their homes at a moment's notice. So everybody had to be at a latch. If you wanted to pack whatever, get it ready. Because the way the fires were blazing, nobody was safe. No one was safe. Um, there were about 3,000 firefighters that were working to contain the fires. About 200 Canadian armed forces were deployed to help the province of British Columbia. You know, that firefighters, um, that um, state of emergency that was declared was based on an advice by the um, British Columbia's wildfire service to say that, you know, we need to be at alert as these fires continue to rage on for days and days on end. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's, it's uh, something that, you know, I've always wondered. We, we've never seen something like this here in Nigeria, or even in Africa. What um, we have is well, Tanka explosion. Yeah, you know, well, no, I'm saying, you know, with regards, you know, this type of natural disasters, you know, we never get to see these type of things, uh, you know, a lot here in Africa. Uh, Turkey currently is dealing with, you know, its own, um, you know, wildfire. Italy, I think, and Greece have also, you know, had to deal with their own wildfires lately. And it's, uh, they're talking also of record temperatures, 48.8 degrees Celsius, mm -hmm. you know, which is the highest that they've ever got, gotten to experience. 
Um, you know, and so it definitely will bring back the conversation on climate change, you know, and how the world is getting hotter, um, you know, and what more disasters we might, you know, have to experience. Um, so anyway, let me leave that out. Uh, but uh, yes. Were you about to bring up the hunger? No, I was gonna. I was gonna say that you know, you know, sometimes you know, this is a, this is personal now. Sometimes I've always you know felt mm -hmm. like you know the whole idea of the end of the world, you know, and a trumpet blowing loud. Um, it may not exactly happen that way. <laughs> it might just be with the earth, you know, just completely you know, imploding, you mm -hmm. know, with these natural disasters. You know, we hear of landslides, we hear of earthquakes in, in, in Haiti. There's another one in Haiti again. About 700 people have, have died. Yes. Um, there's wildfires burning left and right. There's so much going on at the same time. You yes. know, the earth is completely being disgusted with human activity. In the um, United States right now, crews are battling the largest wildfires. You see, so... You know? so I've always just, you know, sometimes just felt like there might not be a loud trumpet blowing to end the world. It might just be the earth just completely imploding and um, disasters left and right just okay. completely. You can keep your theories <laughs> <laughs> to yourself. That's my own personal theory. Let's take a break here and we'll return with the facts about what happened in Plateau State in Afghanistan and what's set to happen in September. Stay with us.